Ukrainian military forces are trying to hold strong and keep control of the capital city of Kyiv. According to the Ukrainian armed forces, Russia was not able to overtake the city tonight. President Volodymyr Zelensky has said in the last hour that hundreds of Russian, Russian soldiers have lost their lives while also taking loss of their own losing soldiers. Now, throughout the early morning hours, there was a fighting going on in the streets. But before we get to that, I do want to say uh, President Zelensky just took to Twitter posting a video minutes ago showing him outside uh, in, in, in the daylight with the video caption, do not believe the fakes. Um, we're working on the translation to find out more from that video, but he is outside right now. It seems to be in good spirits. Take a listen at what happened overnight. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky vowing to stay in the capital city of Kyiv as Russian troops draw near. On Friday, Ukraine's head of state posted this video on Facebook titled, We are here. We are in Kyiv. We are defending Kyiv. On Thursday, Zelensky warned he and his family were Putin's top two targets as his counterpart looks to topple the government. Local media reporting Zelensky rejected U.S. offers to evacuate Kyiv, instead standing by with members of his cabinet. He's made clear that he's still in Ukraine, proudly and courageously standing up in the face of the Russian attack. Sirens sound as explosions are heard moving closer and closer to the country's largest city. Ukraine continues its fight with Russia, defending their homeland. Ukraine is, is fighting back. Uh, they are defending themselves. But it may not be enough. So far, hundreds of casualties have been reported with soldiers lying lifeless and buildings in Kyiv hit with shelling split in half. <laughs> It's an invasion being seen by the world. This video going viral showing a Russian tank making what looks like an intentional maneuver to crush a passing car. <laughs> Bystanders rushing to save the driver who seems to somehow survive after his car was flattened. In the latest round of sanctions against Russia, the European Union and the United States both authorizing sanctions against members of the Kremlin and its top leader. President Putin and Foreign Minister Lavrov are in the list of sanctioned people. The United States will join them in sanctioning President Putin and Foreign Minister Lavrov and members of the Russian National Security Team. For the first time in history, NATO activated its response force. The special force made of international air, ground and sea military members are on standby as a deterrence to what officials call Putin's threats to international peace. Should Russia threaten a NATO nation, the force can deploy quickly. Uh, one of the reasons we're doing this uh, is because we want to make it clear to him that we will defend every inch of NATO territory. And it's important to say here that the U.S. and NATO troops are not expected to enter Ukraine to fight off Russian advancement, instead protecting NATO countries nearby, of which Ukraine is not a member of. Thousands of citizens fled the capital, but tonight the country's defense leaders are instructing its citizens to take up arms and make Molotov cocktails to take down what they say is the occupier. Now we're going to continue to keep you updated with the very latest on the developments at 11 o'clock. And again, Zelensky tweeting out that video seems to be in a bright spirits in the video uh, saying, do not believe the fakes trying to combat rumors that are out there. Live in the newsroom, Pedro Vera, KTLA 5 News. Pedro,